Johnny Menezes, 27 years old, 5'3", with a 63-inch reach. Shamini has a 2.5-inch reach advantage. She's also 2 inches taller. Professional experience. You see the huge fight experience for Shamini. But those are Muay Thai fights, as I mentioned in her walkout. And we've seen Menezes really, you know, develop, fight the best in the world. But she's got an experienced Thai-style fighter. So she has to see how she deals with that. Women's Super Bantamweight action is up next and about scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the black corner. Her Muay Thai talents are known worldwide from Thailand to Spain. She is a veteran of over 100 career fights, consisting of 92 wins, 18 losses, one draw, and 15 career knockouts. At 5 feet 5 inches tall, 1.65 meters, she weighed in at 121 and 1 half pounds, 55.1 kilos. Fighting tonight out of Bangkok, Thailand, ladies and gentlemen, it's Chamani Sia Sotera. Her opponent fighting out of the white corner, set to make her fifth glory start and was with us in Miami at Glory 68. Her professional record, 13 Woo! wins with four losses. Five of those wins coming by way of knockout. At five feet, three inches tall, 1.60 meters, she weighed in at five time and an even 122 pounds, 55.3 kilos. Fighting out of Curitiba, Brazil, she is the former super bantamweight champion of the world, Iris Jade Manezes. And your referee in charge of this bout is Dave Smith. Step up. Step up. All right, ladies, you guys both know the rules. Clean fight, start to finish. Touch him, step back, good luck to you both. All the way back. You ready? Former world you champion ready? All the way back. taking on All the way back. Shamini Sorteiran. Big opportunity for her to make a statement in ready? this division. Ready? Let's go! Scheduled for three rounds. Menezes in the white gloves, Shamini in the black. I think a key for Menezes is going to be pressure. She knows Shamini's got good kicking, good knees. So to counter that, the Brazilian is going to want to use her aggressive boxing. Tell me if you disagree, Joe, but most Thai fighters, when they make the transition to kickboxing, the biggest weakness right, is right, defending defend. punches. Yeah, I mean, because they're work. used to using the clicks to defend punches. And punches in, in Muay Thai don't score as well as the kicks. So that's why you see a lot of good body kicking from Thai fighters. And the one thing Menezes can't do is stay at distance and let Shamini pick her apart like that. Yeah, exactly. She has to use angles, pressure. Yeah, Shamini will trade kicks all night. Let her go. Yeah, and you Break, can see Shamini will throw on, the out. kick, and then when she anticipates the pressure of Menezes, she mixes the knee. Don't hold. Let go. Let go. Let go. Break. Don't hold. Let's go. Ooh. Coming up later tonight, someone who's made the transition from Muay Thai to kickboxing perhaps better than anyone Whoa, ever. That is Petch Panamarov. Yeah, that left kick's gonna go off over and over again in that main event. Nice left kick here for Shamini. Right. Come and on. even when you block right. those right with your right arm, out. it's gotta right hurt. Up. Don't hold. Yeah, I mean, at first they don't, but they could add up. But the issue that we saw with Petch Panamarong and even Sidichai is they were relying too much on the arm kick. Oh, big right hand for Menezes. Don't hold. Don't hold. Right. 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 Step back. Step back. Box. Nice bounce. You see Menezes circling to the left, creating angles on her enter. Break. Break. Punch. Oh. Don't hold. Break. 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 One warning. Don't hold. Box. Oh, nice body kick from Shamini. Yeah, she's letting the left kicks fly. That's better combination work from Menezes. Overhand right for Menezes. Knee to the body. Let's go. 
Frank, step back, step back. Box. Nice job by Menezes not to go all the way back on the break. Stay right in her wheelhouse. Yeah, it's and it's causing Shamini to try to use the clinch, and she's already been warned once. Let go. Break. Break. Step back. Box. Time. Good job. Good work. Jenny Menezes fighting out of Hemmer's Gym in Brazil, led by Julio Borges, fighting out of Curitiba, Brazil, one of the best fight towns in the world. Oh, yeah, the, the amount of amazing fighters to come out of there. They're all about toughness, and Menezes shows that. Her opponent from Thailand, Shamani Sortai Hiran. Nicknamed Sia, which means the sun. Signature strikes that left kick that we're seeing you know, her use really well. Began fighting and training at the age of eight, turned pro at 19 years old. So that's where all that experience comes from. Over a hundred professional fights. Let's go. Let's go. Back. Let's go. We'll see how the judges score that. We do have open scoring here tonight. Two judges give it to the Thai fighter. Right, right. One back. judge to the Brazilian. Watch. Watch your heads coming in, both. Nice low kick there from Menezes. Break, break, step back. Ooh. Well, that's break. how you fight your way out of break. a clinch. Yeah. Step back. Until the referee breaks it up. Break and keep fighting. Right, right, step back, step back, step back, both. Head, head, watch, go. Shamini loves to throw that kick right as Menezes is trying to bull rush her way in. And I have a feeling this fight is going to look a lot like this the rest of the way. Yeah, I agree. Right, come on, Bucks. I mean, especially since, you know, Menezes does need to crash the distance, Don't does want to get her boxing going. Don't hold, break. Come on. Second. Don't hold. Fuck. One more time, you'd like to think a referee would take a point. Yeah, it's coming if she keeps doing it. She said she worked on her boxing. Break. We haven't seen break. much of it yet. Break. Break. Don't push your face. Let's go. 27 landed punches for Menezes, 12 for Chabade. Right. Right. Time. Stop Here we holding. go. Stop holding. Watch your head. Oh, Fox. I thought the point was coming. Any second, I'm sure, if it continues. Break. Break. Step back. Break. Fox. Come on, work out. Good. Good job. It was good. a good job from Shamini to work out of the clinch, but she's falling into the clinch a little too often. But that was better what she did there. She threw a one-two left kick. Right, right. Come on, come on, work out. And even her clinch grip, she's got a really strong grip. Don't hold. She knows Menez is trying to get out. Holding. He's got to deduct a point right. at some point. Right now. Does he not? Yeah, very soon, I'm assuming. Nice job, fighting out of the clinch. 10, Ten seconds left. Let's go, let's go, let's go, work out. Punch out. Time! Good job. Glory returns to China. Shenzhen for Glory 73 on December 7th, and the best lightweights in the world on display. Barack Gregorian taking on the third ranked American, unbeaten Elvis Gashi, also featured number four Josh Chotzi and number five Stoyan Koprovinsky as they look to get into title contention.
And there's Asa Timpow, the American Ninja. Yeah, we even did some light sparring this morning. Yeah, we got to work out. We were doing some power dot shooting, and we got to mix in there and, and have some fun little mix match sparring. Touch play, we'll call it. Did you teach him a lesson? No, we were nice to each other. Just a little bit bigger than a featherweight. You'd have to fight as a heavyweight right now, wouldn't you? What are you weighing? Well, I'd be a light heavyweight, maybe. In between the middleweight and light heavyweight. <laughs> I'd go between go. light heavyweight and heavyweight. Oh. You're a big boy right now. I'm trying. Doing those squats and deadlifts. See how the judges scored round two. Good knee there by Shamane. All three giving it to Shamane Sor Tehran. So Menezes needs a knockdown here. Straight right. Right. Step back. Right. Oh. Good job at Chamonix kicking on the exit. No surprise, Menezes oh, no. continues to pressure. Right. 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 Stop holding. Lose the point. Let's go. It almost looks like Shamini wants the clinch just so she can attack on the break. Let go, let go, let go, break. Break. Go. I keep waiting for the point deduction to come. I mean, it's a strategy, Joe, because when Menezes is on the inside, that's where she can do damage. And Shamini just continues to hold her. Yeah, she reaches her hands out. Like you can right see, here. Yeah, you can see right her here. hands Look at this. reaching Look out. out. And she's locking Look her out. hands in a nice, Look. strong grip, which means there's no thought about breaking out of it. There she is again. Right. right. Pulling her down. Right. Last warning. That's the third last warning I think we've gotten. Oh, it looks like Menezes hurt her. Oh, in the body. She took Go. her down. She needed a knockdown, Two. and Menezes Three. got it. Hold. Wow, that pressure Five. paid off. Six, seven, eight. Oh, she will get up. Menezes with her first finish in glory. Congratulations to the Brazilian who improves to 14 and four. That came out of nowhere. Yeah, there's a lot of frustration in her. You can see her hair everywhere. She was in there, got tied in the clinch, but smart move, not trying to clinch up, grab the head and rip the body. Nice job, Jody Menezes. She lost both the first and second round, needed a knock down to stay alive, and she got a knockout. Let's see it again, Joe, take us through it. Well, she threw the punches upstairs, and she, she kind of knew Shamini was going to reach for the clinch. That's a tough angle there, but... It looked like a left to the body. Yeah. I mean, one, two to the head, third to the body. Yep. Very textbook combination. One, two to the head, rip the third to the liver. One, two, boom. Is that what you teach at Bazooka Joe's Academy Absolutely. in Toronto? Absolutely. Level changes with the boxing, especially with that left hook. Good strategy. So the former champ with her first win over someone that wasn't a former champ themselves. We'll make it official and hear from Miss Menezes when we return. We welcome you back and jump right into our highlights as J.D. Menezes pulls off a dramatic late KO. Yeah, and in the first two rounds, it was Chamonix really using the left kick, but really relying on that clinch to, to defend oh, no. against Menezes' pressure. But when she was throwing, Shamini, she was doing well with the kicks, trying to mix her boxing, but always relying back on the clinch, getting warned multiple times from the referee. But you saw that persistence in Menezes, still kept to the game plan, kept, kept pushing forward. You see there, she threw that body shot twice, the first one hurt her, then she threw the same combination and then got the finish. Come on. Hey, how about Rebecca Irwin? fighting out of Texas, Houston, Texas. And look at Joe Baltolini's dad there in the lower part of the screen. Get out of there, man. That's Becca's time to shine. She's 2-0 in glory. Can't wait to see her back in the ring soon.
Here's the total strike count. Shamini did all her damage with those kicks as expected. Menezes with the hands. She also landed 16 knees, 83 total strikes landed for the Brazilian. Here's Tim Hughes. Referee Dave Smith has called a halt to this contest. One minute, 57 seconds into that third and final round. This one ruled a knockout for your winner, Johnny Menezes. I'm here with your winner, Johnny Menezes. This was your first fight outside of Anissa Mexen and Tiffany Van Soos, and it was a successful one. How are you feeling? Essa é a primeira, sua primeira luta depois da Tiffany e foi bem sucedida. Como é que você está se sentindo? Ah, estou me sentindo muito bem, né? É muito bom não ter que lutar só com elas, porque elas são as melhores do mundo, né? Eu fico muito orgulhosa de estar tá fazendo luta com elas, mas às vezes é bom fazer uma luta mais tranquila. É very, it's a big honor to fight the best in the world, but it feels nice to have a little bit of the pressure off and have a, a more chill fight. It must have been a really frustrating fight with you with all the clinching. Was that bothering you in the fight? O clinch estava te incomodando na luta? Teve muito clinch? Sim, estava estava me dificultando demais. Não estava conseguindo soltar muito meu jogo, meu jogo. Por isso que demorou um pouco mais para mim conseguir conectar meus golpes. That was bothering me a little bit. It was hard to find my 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 range, but uh, that's the reason why it took me a while to get my game on. All right, Chicago, let's hear it for your winner from Brazil, Johnny Menezes. All smiles for Menezes, getting her first stoppage victory, her sixth overall.